Hi everybody, this is Osprey from MyChartCoach.com and in this video we're going to take a look at uh, some of the stocks that were in play today. Okay, so first up, take a look at NVIDIA, uh, ticker symbol NVDA. All right, this this, this is uh, uh, started a uh, blue sky breakout here with today's move. This is the highest close in the history of uh, NVIDIA. So so yeah, so it, it came up here and it made a top on the 29th of January, came down, bounced off of this uh, 200 or 150 day simple moving average support zone and then it ran back up to that level and, and when it when it hit back up there uh, last week on Thursday you know it stalled out and it was creating a double top but then today it closed above the the, the closing price on January 29th was a key level to break the clo a close above a, a high close horizontal resistance signals more upside potential so so now what what uh, we want to see it, it, you can see it's just been been a, a, a really parabolic move all the way up to uh, uh, up to this level, and so what you want to see now is this level turn into support. So if it could stay above this uh, 247.50 level, that would be very bullish. Um, it, 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 you know, th th this is a blue sky breakout mode. It's it's in uncharted uh, territory. You know, there's you can't go back and find previous resistance levels on the chart. So now this is the big level to hold. You know, if it dropped back down and and got back below this line, that would signal consolidation. If it turns into support, that's going to signal that NVDA wants to head higher. And as you can see here on the monthly chart, th this is the entire history uh, of uh, NVDA. Okay, so each candle represents one month of trading. And you can see over here on the left is the 1999 start of trading. A and look way over here on the right, you've got, you've got the all-time high being made as you know today and and so now it's it, it's it, this month you know it's going you know last month it had its all-time high close for the month it's been riding ema4 look at that pink line you know as long as the candles are riding that pink line you could just keep riding if you're a, a long-term investor this is just a you know this has been a multi-year just keep holding keep riding type of chart you know that's why that's why kramer is so in love with it that's why he named his dog the stock i mean it has a super bullish uptrend if the monthly chart is this strong the signal is to keep riding and so it's breaking out to new all-time highs check out Amazon here all right so we have Amazon made a very bullish move today as well so yeah check it out it, it closed above high close horizontal resistance it had a very similar pattern to NVDA you know it came up and made a top and then it, then it dropped down it bounced off the 50-day simple moving average no, notice it, it, Amazon held up better than than it, all the other tech stocks I mean it barely budged off this middle Bollinger Band it continued with that uptrend it was only below the middle Bollinger Band for two days. I mean, you had other stocks that are that you know in the tech sector that are still below the middle Bollinger Band. You know that had major pullbacks for multiple days. And, and Amazon has been you know this just shows you how strong it is and how people want to own the stock. And, and and today's close is a signal that that it wants to head higher. So so the the closing price here last Thursday was the key level to break. And today the close above signals more upside potential. You know the, the, this is the highest close here now um, in the history of the stock. And, and what you want to see is more uh, more uh, upside. You want to see that that level turn into support and then a push higher. At the closing price here on, on the uh, uh, what is that the the second of February is, is the or that that's the opening price on, on the second of February is the next key level to break. That, that's at about fourteen eighty and then you have this fifteen hundred all time high. You know that's where it's headed. So you have fourteen eighty fifteen hundred. Those are two clean levels to uh, get above. If it pulls back down below fourteen sixty or it drops below. EMA4 at 1451. That's going to be your signal of consolidation. As long as the middle Bollinger Band at 1409 is holding, the signal is just, just to keep riding Amazon. Okay, look at INTC. Okay, this is Intel. And so it made a very bullish move today. Um, it, as you can see down here on the uh, daily chart, it closed uh, above the middle Bollinger Band, okay, for the second time in three days, in three tra trading days. And, and so if that level turns into support, it's currently at 4591. Then then a new uptrend should begin. If you look over here in January, you know the, the candle was above the, the dotted purple line, which is the 20-day simple moving average, also the middle Bollinger Band, and then it got below, and there was consolidation and a pullback. And then once it closed back above that middle Bollinger Band, it really took off and had that major run. And so a, a, after topping out uh, on these candles right here, you know the share price pulled all the way back, found support down here at this gold line, which is the 100-day simple moving average, and now it's back above the middle Bollinger Band for the first time. So so if you're a bull, you're looking for this type of move, or, or, or on this candle here, where, where the candles were below the middle Bollinger Band, it closed above, and then you had a nice uptrend. And so that <clears throat> you're looking for a potential new uptrend to be starting here. 
It, it, this is the key level. You know, four, 4591 is a good entry point, and, and then you use that as your stop loss level as well. As long as that level holds, you keep riding for a uh, swing trade. So, so yeah, if it drops below that, the middle Bollinger Band, or or if it breaks below the 50-day simple moving average at 45, that's going to signal downside risk. Okay, with Bitcoin running, you know, you have a, a, a overstock and Square ha had nice updates today, and people are, are saying that it's because they're Bitcoin related. Now that we have Bitcoin uh, back in action and testing that. At uh, twelve thousand zone, you know now it's above eleven thousand. It hit like eleven six, and so yeah. And Bitcoin is at a key level. You should, uh, you know, if you're if you trade Bitcoin, please check out the video that I, uh, the last one that I made. I showed some key resistance levels. Um, so so if you look here, overstock, you know, it is back above fifty on RSI, back above fifty on Fasto, and, and, and then you have the green line above the red and the black line. You know, it's, it's trying. The bulls are trying to heat up here. As, as you can see, that this is a very clear uh, picture of what's going on. Okay, so you have. The, the the green line here which is the 50-day simple moving average at 67.53 it has to close above that level and turn it into support it closed above that level last thursday but 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 it didn't hold it, it, and it's been you know trying to turn this dot of purple line which is the middle bollinger band currently at 64.48 into support so going forward candles below 64.50 signal downside risk and consolidation candles above 67.50 signal uh, you know breakout higher more upside potential so so, so above 67.50 signals to go long. If it drops below, uh, you know, that, that especially if, if it got below uh, 62, which is that 61.98, that's the bottom support level here on EMAs 4, 8, and 13. That's where you would have downside risk, and it could come back down and retest that 100-day simple moving average at 54. But if it's holding the middle Bollinger Band and it gets above that 50-day simple moving average, a new uptrend could begin, and it could possibly run back up to test that upper Bollinger Band. So it's all about, you know, holding the middle Bollinger Band and breaking that 50-day simple moving average. So take a look at Square here. It, it, it's uh, you know it's also in the bull zone in RSI and Festo, and then you've got the uh, crossover here on ADX with the red line crossing the uh, uh, the <clears throat> green line crossing the red line to the upside. And then now you've got a, a, a nice uh, uptrend going off of the low uh, on the 100-day simple moving average bounce. And then uh, it closed above that middle Bollinger Band, currently at 43.35 uh, on Thursday. And, and, and now it's pushed higher. Uh, and notice the upper wick on today's candle. You know, that is a red flag. If you look down here at accumulation distribution, you can see there was a spike down today. So there was some profit taking um, off of that, that 46.50 level. And so what, what bulls want to see is they want to see the share price come back up here to this candle um, at, at 47. Um, the, the the closing price here is the key level to break. If uh, it, Square can get above 47, that's going to signal that it wants to head higher. If it fails to break this, this 46.50 to 47 resistance zone, it could signal a temporary top, and that that middle Bollinger Band could be retested. As long as the middle Bollinger Band at 43.35 holds, you know this new uptrend should begin. A close back below would be your signal that it's cooling down, and it could drop back down and test that 50 day simple moving average. So so for all these stocks that get above the middle Bollinger Band on the daily chart, they have to hold that level for the uptrend to continue. Okay, so check out uh, N Noble Energy here. This is ticker symbol NVL. It, it, it is up uh, nearly 11% here. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, um, yeah, uh, RSI is at 53. So it's above the, the 50 level. You have Fasto uh, at 71. Look at the nice uh, bullish crossover here on ADX. With plus DI above minus DI in uh, in, in ADX. And then over here, you have a, a, a nice uh, bounce off the bottom, and, and, and the candles ha have, have run back up above. The, to today, it broke above EMAs 4, 8, and 13, the 200-day simple moving average, the 100-day simple moving average, the middle Bollinger Band, and the 50-day simple, or, or the middle, and the middle Bollinger Band. And then it closed right at that 50-day simple moving average. Notice how it's the same setup as, as back here with Overstock, where you have the, the real candle body in between 50-day simple moving average resistance and middle Bollinger Band support. And so, so right here, what we have for uh, MBL is uh, the the 50-day simple moving average once again is resistance, and then it needs to turn that middle Bollinger Band at 28.85 into support. So, so going forward, if it can break above 29, that's going to signal that it wants to head higher, and then you're going to look for a potential run up to that 300-day simple moving average at 30.55. If the middle Bollinger Band in that 29 level fails to hold, then it then that would 
be a signal it's not ready to go, and it could pull back and retest that 100-day simple moving average at 28. It needs to hold that middle Bollinger Band and get above that, that 29 level, the 50-day simple moving average, for this to be a good setup. Keep an eye on it. Uh, you know, calls return really big gains today, so congrats, everybody. Okay, look at uh, UVXY here, please. Uh, th this is the Ultra VIX short term. Th th this is the, the, the way that you can, uh, you know, uh, tr trade options with vo volatility options. And, and so if you look here, it, it did uh, bounce today. All right. So there was a, a, a nice uh, uh, bounce off of that middle Bollinger Band. OK, so so last week it hit the middle Bollinger Band, bounced off that level. And then today it, it, it tried to push higher, which it did. It closed up today. It was up 8 percent. So that was a very strong move. It, it, it formed a small real candle body. The trading was tight today. Um, the, the, temporarily, it got above that line line, which is EMA 8, currently at 1787. That is the big resistance level to break. And so it needs to close above that level to head higher. So, so uh, you know, keep an eye on 1787. Above that level, if you see uh, UVXY above 18, that's going to be your signal that, that that volatility is really heated up and it's going to have more upside potential. So keep an eye on that level. If it drops below that that 17, it, it, you know, that, that's going to put that middle Bollinger Band back on deck. It has to hold the middle Bollinger Band at 1575 to keep the uptrend going. Okay, take a look at TVIX. Okay, this closed up 8.5% today. Um, you know, it has RSI at 52. You have FASTO down here at 31. Um, you know, it had a nice bounce today uh, off of the middle Bollinger Band. Um, you know, or not today, but last week off the middle Bollinger Band and, and, and off that 100-day simple moving average support zone. The same setup as UVXY where it's trying to break above the, the, the uh, uh, EMAs 4, 8, and 13. Uh, so, so currently EMA 8 at 882 is the big level to break. If it can close above that level, Level and you see TVIX, you know, above nine and in the nines, that's going to be your big signal that it wants to head higher. Now, if you see uh, TVIX drop below eight, that's going to signal downside risk. It has to hold that 100 day simple moving average at 60, 768. Otherwise, it could drop down to that 50 day simple moving average at 648. Okay, take a look at dust. Okay, this is the gold miner index, bear three times. And, and uh, yeah, it does trade options. And, and so, yeah, the, the, this was up today 8%. So, congrats to everybody that caught the video yesterday. Um, you know, it does have RSI at 57, FASTO at 54. And so it did follow through today. It formed the, uh, you know, the, the nice reversal pattern last week. And then um, today it had follow through after closing on Friday above that 50 day simple moving average. And then today it closed above the 100 and 200 day simple moving averages. So currently the 200 day simple moving average at 2664. That's the red line right here. That's the key level to hold. If it does hold, it could retrace back up to that 30 day or 300 day simple moving an average at 29.69, back up to that 30 resistance zone. You know, if it drops back below the 200-day simple moving average, then it could consolidate and retest that 100-day simple moving average at 25.24. Okay, take a look at JDST. This is the junior uh, gold miner bear three time. Uh, it, it's it's got the uh, R, you know RSI back above 50 at 54 and in the bull zone. Um, if you look here, it had followed through as well. It, it did close above the 100-day simple moving average and the 50-day simple moving average. It was below those levels on Friday. You can see the close on Friday was just above the middle Bollinger Band, and that was a signal that the chart was heating up. And then today, closing above that uh, you know, 50 and 100-day simple moving average in EMAs 4, 8, and 13 again, that, 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 that signals you know, the chart is really starting to cook. Um, it's going to be all about breaking this 200-day this simple moving average at 61. If it can close above that level, then that would put that 300-day simple moving average in that 70 resistance zone back on deck. If it fails to break 61, that could be a temporary top. <clears throat> For the chart to remain bullish now, it needs to stay above this 100-day simple moving average. If it drops below, that's going to signal consolidation. You know, as long as that middle Bollinger Band down there at 54.88 is holding, you know, this uptrend is intact. Now, now it, it, keep in mind, the 200-day simple moving average is always tough to break. And, and, and if it does turn into support, that's going to be very bullish for JDST. Okay, and finally, let's look at uh, Under Armour here. This is ticker symbol UAA. Yeah, this is the uh, options uh, version for uh, Under Armour. And, and yeah, as you can see here, uh, RSI dropped below 70. You have FASTO that dropped below 80. Um, it, you know, they're starting to hook. It came down here and, uh, you know, it formed the bearish uh, one black crow on, uh, uh, or you could call it one red crow with this chart uh, on Friday with this uh, bearish reversal pattern. The pattern was not confirmed today with the doji, but but it, it's, uh, you know, there was another red candle in the gap down. The, the, the gap was filled, the space between these two candles with the upper wick on today's candle. And, and 
and so the key level to hold is going to be this 200 day simple moving average at basically 17. So 17 is the big level, 1699. And then if it holds that level, it could get a bounce here. You know, after a pullback, when it forms, you know, this is almost a doji, you know, it, it, it many times it signals a bounce. Um, you know, if it uh, fails to hold that 17 level, that's going to be your signal that there's more consolidation. It really has to stay above the 200 day simple moving average now. You know, if it fails to hold, then it would put the, the EMA 8 at 1640 on deck. Now, now if, the, if it does bounce off of the EMA 4, what you'd be looking for is a retrace back up here to the uh, 1775 level, and that would be the closing price here on uh, this candle on, on the, the uh, 14th. That would be the next big level, and then uh, up here, the closing price uh, on the, uh, so you have the 14 and 15th is the two big levels to break on the upside, and then the downside of 17 breaks, 1640 would likely be on deck. And then if you look at the UAA 15 minute chart here, you can see, uh, you know, it's been in a downtrend uh, on over here on the left. You can see on Friday, it, it closed below the middle Bollinger Band. And then that, that signaled the downtrend. It started pulling back. It closed below the 50 simple moving average. That signaled more downside risk. And then heading into the close on Friday, it closed below the 100 simple moving average. And so all that was signaling more downside risk. Notice there was a giant volume spike on Friday. So there's this huge volume that went through. And so we were trying to figure out, you know, what was going on with that. And um, yeah, it had a gap down open today and it ran back up to the, the middle Bollinger Band and that, that level failed to hold and it got right back below. And you can see the middle Bollinger Band was support or resistance the entire day. And it formed this descending triangle pattern. It did break out of that pattern and, and you know, form this uh, sideways channel here intraday. And, uh, you know, it failed to break above the top of the this sideways channel and, and, and then it got back down you know in, into this uh, you know triangle zone uh, on this candle right here at 315 it broke below the bottom uh, of the triangle and so so you know that, that that was signaling more downside risk it needs to get back above that green line and back above EMA4 that's the first step always and then in order to get a new uptrend going it has to turn EMA or turn the middle Bollinger Band at 1732 into uh, support. Um, you know, it, it, in order to you know get moving again to the upside, you know, the middle Bollinger Band here has to has to hold. And so notice it failed to here and it pulled back. And so once that turns into support, that's going to be your signal that it's ready to head higher. And then you have the 50 simple moving average at 1756 and the 100 simple moving average at 1775 is the two big levels above. Once it's above all three of these levels, that's when it can start heading higher and retail test those 18s. You know, if, if it fails to get above that middle Bollinger Band, that will signal more uh, downside risk. Notice once again today, there was a huge volume spike into the close. So yeah, so big volume, two trading days in a row right at the close. Okay, thank you very much for viewing this uh, video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, please come check out our chat. I'll post the link below the YouTube video. Thank you.